Hey guys, Lunar Knight here. This anime is a little bit confusing. Well, the animation is good, the story is a little... Kaput? Kerflop? Bland? Yeah. When the trailer for Brand New Ammo came out, people didn't know what to think. Since this was from the same company that animated Kill a Kill, well, they also did the animation for Lil' Wood Jackadania. Note to self with you, Little Witch Academia. And the weird part is that it tries to give a compelling story about racism and identity equality, and it comes off. Well, there were other forms of media that did it better. But this is a review show that tells if the anime is good or not. So, with that said, let's take a look at Brand New Animal. So, we start this episode at a subway station. Weird that that's the second anime I reviewed that started that way. As we see the main character, Michiru, taking money out of an ATM while hiding from extremists. She gets on top of a bus. That's a dangerous location to sit, but okay. And she watches a video about Animal City. Message for you, son! A group of extremists chase after Michiru and she falls off a cliff. This is the road that Beastmen used to escape to Anima City. We knew we'd catch you if we waited here. Uh, if you knew she would come this way, then why were you chasing her? This is the first 10 minutes of the anime and you're already showing problems. Then three Beastmen show up and they very easily take out the extremists. Why are they even afraid of humans? They can easily take them out one hit. Uh, but who are you? Mm. I'm just a volunteer who loves to extend a helping hand to beastmen in trouble. Marie Itami. Okay. So the mink takes Michiru to Anima City by boat, as Michiru has a flashback to her old house. It would have been better if they cut this out, but okay. What do you know? Haven't you heard of suspension of disbelief? Michiru makes it to the city where she sees a group of beastmen surrounding her as... Apparently, it's a festival where she then bumps into Shiru Ugami, voiced by Benjamin Diskin, crying tears of joy. Enjoy it. We've waited for this festival for a thousand years. You are a sad, strange little man. Michiru then runs into Marie Itami, voiced by Reba Burr. You're that weasel! I am not a weasel! I'm a mink! Who apparently is racist against weasels. And Michiru gets her wallet stolen by a monkey. Also, who will put their wallet in a tail? Michiru chases after the pit pocket and runs underneath the teleprompter and sees a wolf mechanic take off. Okay, either she doesn't know her own strength or those are the weakest pillars in the world. She tries to get an old goat out of the way. You know, saying that out loud doesn't make it more funny. And it's saved by Shiru, who is still crying. Was it you? Are you the one who ruined the Beastmen's festival? Yeah, because she could look like she could do some damage. Shiru used his senses to see a flashback of the accident. If you could do that, why didn't you sense it before? And takes off as Michiru tries to get her wallet back. Shiru catches up with the bomber. <laughs> Dead. Dead. Nope, alive. And remember kids, what hurts in real life doesn't hurt in an anime. Two more beastmen began attacking with guns. You know this anime is making humans more weaker and dumber by comparison. And Shiru beats the snot out of them. Shiru comes in to help and gets captured. If you move even one inch then she's dead, got that? You're mistaken. She's not the dead one. So, quick question. Do all beastmen have superpowers? Then she repounds the wolf guy over and over. Okay, I think he gets the point. That or you really like being people up. Michu gets in the way of Shiru and the beastman and tells him that she used to be human. Then why do you look like that? Because I grabbed a leaf from Super Mario Brothers 3. Why do you think, Jack? So Shiru and Michiru escape the police and Shiru turns into his human form. I thought he'd be older. Wow, you think you know a girl. So as it turns out that the beastmen stay in their human form, then what's the point of them being beastmen? 
That is really such a human thing to say. Don't raise it! She will take Michiru to the Beastman Recreation Committee and they prove that she's the Beastman. The Beastman marker is a simple yet reliable method of verification. Okay. The next day came and she would take Michiru to what I guess is where he signed to the city and he walks off. Way to leave a girl by herself. Mitra then follows a pickpocketer that also stole her wallet and runs it to Marie. All lost belongings eventually end up in Rabbit Town. You said Rabbit Town? Okay, just to keep your mind out of the gutter, it's not that kind of town. Mitra heads to Rabbit Town where she is attacked by a group of beast. I'm going to say beast women. And they take her to the one who in charge who ironically is a rabbit. And it turns out that she has Mitra's wallet. Okay, then I'm going to give this back to you, but in return, I'm going to need a little favor. So it turns out that Grand Grand wants Michiru to teach the kids how to read and write. Now, what's this say? Mm, yes, you! It's poop! Well, I didn't need to say anything. Michiru then noticed Shiru on top of a building and disappears. He does that. Dan with Grand Grand, the Mafia shows up demanding money and tells them to sell the children and Michiru in illegal beastman trafficking. Oh, good lord that's dark. Michiru tries using her powers and apparently has the power to stretch her arms. Okay. And manages to save the children, then Shiru comes in and starts fighting off the women and Grand Grand surrenders. The police show up and Michiru gets her wallet back showing Shiro that she is in fact a human. So that was Brand New Animal. I thought it was just okay. Honestly, it's either underrated or overhyped. And I do get why some people would hate this scene that the story is a bit complicated to follow. But the animation is good, the characters are good, and it's worth a watch. So if you want to check it out, be able to be confused and entertained at the same time. I'm Lunar Knight, and I'll see you guys next time.